All right, so apparently averaging about $10 per month is enough to get you knocked down in, in uh, Montana for food stamps. For the past year, they wanted the history of uh, my my uh, earnings, which has pretty much all been YouTube, and it looks and I, I've estimated it to be about ten dollars a day, and and uh, that's that's enough to knock it from the the high of one thirty one ninety two down to one sixty two, and I asked her how it works, and there's it's not not exactly how it works with other states. Other states have brackets this one like does some kind of weird sliding scale I, I can look at the detail on the on the website on the internet she gave me a sheet to look look through this I got all kinds of food bank food a uh, food bank is right across the street um, but it's it's a lot more complicated I this is like this is the most wasteful food food stamp office I've ever seen out of all the states I've seen Washington Idaho Nevada California Oregon um, this this uh, Montana one is is really really difficult yeah this is the information uh, 30 okay this. I kind of want to record this. It doesn't. It doesn't really give any personal information. So let me. Let's see. Will that show? I'll just. Just the money. How does this all work? Can that be seen? So I've lost thirty dollars in Montana. I don't think I would lose thirty dollars in Mon in any other state. They got they got a lot going on. I reported all this. I reported a very low expense. So I just said I pay a hundred dollars per month for gas and and whatnot. And I can't claim food, which seems kind of unfair. I understand they do that that way, but I unfair because I try to avoid driving. I try to avoid using gas in favor of my own energy, getting around on a bicycle and walking. So, yeah, and I waited three and a half hours to see somebody. This is the longest time I've had to wait to see somebody, and it's this. This is something that I'm gonna have to like do every month because it's just. I keep getting cut off by these, by these states every month. Um, what really gets me is I don't get a card in the office. I have to wait three to five business days for it to arrive in the mail, which is general delivery. And since I'm traveling, I told her, why don't you just send it to this other city that I intend to go to, which I might have to sit for a couple extra days more than I want to depending on how it is, how the cops are, but I, I, I requested to have the, 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 the card sent to another city, so that's, that's going to be in five to seven business days or so, uh, roughly, um, but the wait, wow, what are you doing three and a half hours waiting for, uh, to see somebody for food stamps? I've never waited so long. Some has been instant, okay? Some food banks I've gone to, it's been instant service as soon as I show up. This one, I show up at 8 o'clock and I don't leave until 12.30. And I sat around for three and a half hours waiting the whole time. And there were people at 8 o'clock, there were like 10 people ahead of me. They know how the system works around here. I don't know if it's exactly the office. It seems like it's a statewide thing because uh, today's Thursday and yesterday... They only saw people who needed emergency services, all right? And how do you qualify to get emergency immediate? And even if you have an emergency, they don't have any cards there for you anyway. You have to still wait five to seven business days under your emergency in Montana to have the card sent to you in the mail. 
So that, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't sound like really answering to an, any kind of emergency to me. <laughs> it's, uh, they'll see you that day. They'll approve you that day. Under the, on Wednesday, Wednesday, the official emergency day. But you won't see the card for five to seven business days, roughly, in the, until you get it in the mail, which apparently it comes from Texas. I asked this lady, what do you do on Wednesday? All right, did, or did you work on Wednesday? And she's like, yes, I work every day. And I'm like, all right. Um, and then she's, uh, you know, she explained that she does like service work or something for other counties. She does, she does like paperwork and follow-ups for, for other counties, um, on Wednesday. Uh, but it, you know, that then because because they don't see hardly anybody on on Wednesday uh, because practically nobody qualifies for the emergency okay nobody you have to you have to like you have to um, lose more money than you make by a dollar to qualify for emergency if you make a dollar more than you lose for expenses and whatnot, then you don't qualify for an emergency. One dollar makes a difference for an emergency. All right, I find that interesting. Um, regardless, you don't get your card that day. Every other office, but Utah, see the thing is, I'm trying to remember what Utah was like, because that was, Utah was all done over the phone. I think I had to wait to uh, uh, get a card in the mail from Utah as well. So Montana is not different from from that i think that i think i had to do it with utah i did i think a video on that that's <laughs> i can't remember and i didn't do the research before making this video i'll have to look that up and maybe put a link to the utah um, but montana's just incredible um with the food food stamp system so yeah i lost thirty dollars i have to wait five to seven business days for the card because washington cut me off I'm pretty sure of it. I cut my I cut the card up. I I think they were renewing it every the, on the seventh, and I didn't see any money. I tried to buy something, and so I just like okay, I'll go with the the Montana. And then the Montana lady was like, oh, you got to report within ten days of any changes, state, financial, whatever. I'm like, yeah, okay. Then I then I say to her that oh, it must be jail time if you don't. And she just she's kind of like. She said that's, you know, she couldn't say exactly what the punishment is. It's just a mandate, which I believe a mandate is just something that they ask you to do, they require you to do, but there's no, there's no enforcement against the action. What's, what's the enforcement against not reporting in time? There's really, there's really no enforcement. So it's, it's. It's a mandate. It's just, you just mandate it and, and hope that people follow it. And I don't follow it. I don't report when I change states, when the income changes. <laughs> I, re I report, do I have to report every month if, if I get a viral video on YouTube? For the past year, $10 per day. That's, that's not a lot of money, but that's enough to knock me off, knock off $30 for my food stamps for Montana. And it just, it doesn't seem fair, because I know no other state would make that make that choice. That's just how it works. Think thin, because you're not going to live thin. I'm thinking. These are really good. They're too good. I'm only, I only accept these from food banks. I think they're hurting my teeth. So... I don't have a, I don't have any card yet. I, I can't buy anything. I only have a little, little bit of money because I missed a few days too. They had to prorate it for, for the days I missed. They re, they reset every third for me, uh, in Montana, and I think I was resetting every every uh, seventh in Washington. So I, I missed a few days. I can I think I can survive it. I'm in a slightly better position. Uh, financially to handle the setbacks but yeah that wait time finding out that I, I get less uh, having the weight on the card and the mail they all they all culminate into a, a bad experience 
and that and I call it a bad experience. I should be thankful for them, but I call it a bad experience in comparison to what I've been experiencing in the past. So that's just evaluation of that. <laughs>